Okay, so today we're going to talk about the percent equation. So the other day we did um, the percent proportion, so we did is over of equals percent over 100. So today we're going to put that into an equation, which will be very, very similar. That's why as you look at the notes and the examples below, we're just doing the same examples, but with the equation instead. So our equation looks like this. It is... A equals P times W. Okay, so in words, the A is the part, so that's like the piece of pizza or the number of pieces of pizza, and the W is the whole. So, like, how many pieces make a whole pizza? And then the P is the percent, okay? But as you see here, and this is super important because if you don't do this right, then you will get every single one wrong. In this case, the percent has to be written as a decimal. So, this is going to be a decimal when you put it into the equation, okay? All right. And also, the next thing I want to show you with that same equation is I like to transfer it into the words just like we did um, before, like the is of percent 100. And what that would look like is of equals percent times, this should be of, sorry about that, this is your is is equals percent times of. And those are just those words that we talked about where we did is over of equals percent over 100. It doesn't matter which one you use. If you can remember part and whole, that's fine too. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the first example. It says, what is 15% of 12? So I'm going to write that into an equation. Um, is is what we don't know. So A equals... Percent is a decimal, so 0.15 times 12. Now you got to do is do 0.15 times 12 in the calculator, and A equals 1.8. Okay, good. Now the hardest part is just getting it into the equation. Once you get past that, you will be A-OK. -okay. Let's try the next one. So what is... 30% of 50. So the way we could look at it is we know of is our whole. So A equals 0.3, you can put the zero, and then times 50. Okay, so A equals 15. Okay, let's try the next one. So what percent of 20 is 8? Okay, so... We have our is and we have our of. So we're going to put 8, that's the part, times. Now our percent we don't have, so I'm going to use our 20 first and then P. Okay? We're going to divide both sides by 20. And when we do that, we get P equals 0.4. But now, just like we had to move the decimal over to make it, um, or the percent, we moved the decimal over to make it a decimal, we have to move that decimal back over two spots to make it a percent. So 0.4 is actually 40%. All right? Okay, let's look at the next one. You go ahead and try this one, and let's see if we get the same answer. Okay, so for that one there, we got A equals 36. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, it says 210% of what number is 84? So 84 is our part, so that's what we're going to put over here. And then that 210%, remember, as a decimal, so you move it over two spots, that's 2.1, and you can add the zero if you want, and then you can put a W, Okay. We're going to divide both sides by 2.1, and W is going to equal 40, okay? And that would make sense that our whole is um, 
smaller than that part because it's a 210%. Go ahead and try the next one. Let's see if we come up with the same answer. Make sure you put it into the equation and solve. All right, we got W equals 16. Let's go ahead and move forward. I'm gonna have you, we're gonna do the first one together and then you'll do the next two on your own. So let's go ahead and try that first one. It says, what percent of five is three? So three is our part, five is our whole, and we're looking for our percent, okay? So P equals, so we're dividing by five on both sides. We get 0.6, but that's our percent. We have to turn it into a percent because right now it's a decimal. It's going to be 60%, okay? All right, you try the next two, and then we will check our answers. Okay, there's the answer for the two of those. So the first one is 125% because you got 1.25 move the decimal over twice, and then the second one is x equals 48. All right, let's go ahead and try the last three. We'll do it the same way we just did. Do all three of those, and then we'll check our answers. Okay, I just want to make note to make sure that you wrote the equation right for the first one. It says w, um, 4 equals 0.001w because you got to move that decimal over two spots for that percent. Okay? All right, and there are our three answers. So hopefully you got those correct, or hopefully you can see the work that was done and possibly see where you went wrong, okay? All right, let's try the real life application. Finding the percent sales tax on a food total. So you spend $20, $27.50 on your meal. A dollar and sixty-five cents of that was tax. What is the tax rate in percent? So that's that's our key. We need to find that tax rate. So if we put it into A equals P times W, okay. I just like to sometimes fill in what I know. Okay. So I can erase the W because that's our whole, and I know the whole amount that I spent was $27.50, okay? And then I can also erase that letter A, because my part, that's the part, and I know that my part was $1.65. So now we can go ahead and we can divide by $27.50 on both sides, and when we do that, so go ahead and do that in your calculator, So P equals 0 0.06, which is 6% sales tax. Good. Okay, now let's go to the next one. So this part, it says you want to leave a 16% tip. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's write it, A equals P times W. Okay, uh, let's erase what we know. So I can erase the percent because I know that I can fill that in with 0.16. And I can erase my whole because that's the amount that I um, spent. So we can put 27.50 in there. So now we're going to do 0 0.16 times 2750, and we get A equals 4.4, meaning you left a tip of four dollars and forty cents good okay my F looks a little weird okay now try the last one what if you tip 20 percent go ahead and give that a try okay hopefully you got the same answer I got you tip five dollars and fifty cents 
Now, let's go back up to the top of this page because we just got the entire page done. Go back up to the top. That is what your homework is. It's uh, page 236, numbers 4 through 16 even, and 20 to 22. And try 29. I'm not saying that you will be able to do it. I'm not saying you won't. I want you to actually try it. Tomorrow, I plan on having your homework assignment on Classroom so that you can check it yourself and then turn it into the teacher. So make sure if you also have still have any questions, just email me and I will be able to answer them for you. Um, have a good night and make sure that you understand this. I'll post another video on Classroom just in case. All right, have a great night and have the good rest of your day.